Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy's back. I done did it again. I'm gonna show you guys my top three apps that I use as a programmer, right? And I'm gonna show you also another tool that I like. Alright. So for now, we're gonna start with Solo Learn. Listen, if you actually wanna get into programming and you say, hey, code is life, right? Coding is life for you right now, right? Then you have to download this app, Solo Learn. So Solo Learn is good because it's just like a way to practice. You know, you could come in and say, "Hey, I want to practice, you know, JavaScript, right?" Or I want to practice Ruby. You could just go ahead and change it. So like, let's say you got basic concepts, right? So it tells you like, "Hey, what is Ruby, right?" Then from there, it gives you a little test, a little, you know, a little something. So then you come in, you're like, oh, you got it wrong. You could go through the, the comments, or you could just come in and say, okay, click back, click on what framework, and you got it right. Cool, right? So also too, like let's say you go in, it gives you like a little explanation, it tells you, hey, it was a variable, it shows you how to do it, you see X, you know, X equals eight, and then you go print it out when you say puts eight puts x it puts out you know eight so you can also too click there and run the code which is cool you can practice it's a little bit slow sometimes i don't know why but i believe it has something to do with my internet you know <laughs> you know how it is with my internet right <laughs> now nah, i think it's it's the way how the, the program works so like let's say you can come in here and create something and say def swag. Alright. And you can come in, press N, puts. Got that source. And then let's see if we come in and say swag. See, it prints out eight because we put eight, and then it also prints out got that swag because I invoked that function. All right, so this is cool because it also have a whole bunch of different languages. Like it's not just Ruby, it's not just JavaScript. There's like a whole bunch. You could practice Ruby, you could practice PHP, you could practice SQL, you could practice Python, JavaScript, Java. Swift fundamentals, C sharp, you know, they have like some bull, a little bullshit courses <laughs> that they have here. But besides that, what I like is for this, you know, all the cool shit, you know, it's like just to practice. Because sometimes you're on the train, sometimes you are in a doctor's appointment, and you're like, oh man, I gotta stay here for so long. Man, you got this app right here that lets you play around with the code. You can either learn a new code or a new programming language or just play around with the code and just say hey i'm just gonna play around with it right in the console you could create it people also create cool stuff here too so let's see let me see css cubeless you could actually run it see and actually see what other people are doing which is cool you know I don't have time for that. <laughs> I don't have time to <laughs> come in here and create a whole bunch of cool things. There's like a code pen within the app, which is cool, but I don't see myself doing it. <laughs> I just use it for uh, like learning or practicing like Ruby or practicing uh, JavaScript. You know, sometimes just to keep my, my mind fresh. You know what I mean? So this is one one of them, right? Another one, let me see. Another one, of course, is Programming Hub. This also is like Solo Learn, but the only difference is that you know they want you to pay for stuff more, right? Like let's say you come in and add add a course. They have more courses than Solo Learn. They have a whole bunch of them. 
So let's say we wanted to learn a little bit of Java, right? Preparing your Java course. You come back, you have Java here. You click in there, it tells you a little advertising, whatever. Not now. You go to course, and then it's like it's like a documentary. No documentary, sorry. Documentation. <laughs> like documentation, right? So you can go through the features. I think they they probably just copy this straight from like somewhere, some documentation. They just posted it. They're like, okay, cool. Here's our characters are, here's a flow, this, this, and that. This is cool for me because sometimes I wanna look at a you know documentation and not actually go to the website. I just come here and search it and be like, oh, this is how you do an if statement in Java or you know a if statement and C++, right, or a loop, like, do a while loop, so, that's what I use it for, all right, now, goddamn commercials, <laughs> all right, now, of course, you know your boy gotta have you to me here, like, my other account got banned, so, <laughs> now I have a whole bunch of courses that I had to rebuy again, a whole bunch of courses that I already finished, they say that I still haven't finished them, but it's okay because the reason why I rebought them is because I like to have it as like documentation for myself. Like sometimes there's something that I, I liked about Cole Steele's way of how he did passport, and then I might just want to go in here and actually look at the lecture and be like, okay, this thing is loading right now, give it a second. Trust me, guys, it's much faster for you guys. My internet sucks. But <laughs> basically, you have all your videos. You have all your lectures there. All, all the text and information that they put within the course, you have it in there. So that's what's cool. You can also ask questions directly. You see? Oops. Yeah, so you come in, see the course. Watch the video, Q and A. Then you could watch the announcements, whatever announcement the person released. You could watch it right here directly. If you have screencast, you could share it to your screencast. You know, and watch it on your TV. I do that all the time. Um, let me see what else. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I think. You know. You guys know what Udemy is. Udemy is where basically we buy courses for ten dollars, and then from there we just you know watch them, right? I usually watch courses that like if if I already know what an if and else statement, right? I usually just watch every part of the beginning of probably like the first two three hours of a course. I hear it on the car, so while I'm driving, I just put it to play. So this is cool because it's on your phone, right? It's directly on your phone. You could use it like a podcast. Now, another one is Stitcher. Stitcher is one of my favorite apps. And one of the reasons why I added it, because as a developer, you guys should really be part of the community. And when I say part of the community, I'm saying like you guys should be listening to podcasts, listening to people that talk about code, you know, like JavaScript Jabber is pretty good. I'm going to show you guys my stations, the ones that I like. Dismiss. Okay. I got web. You should be following Coding Face Podcast. Right? You got the Big Web Show. You got all JavaScript podcasts. You got Mostly Node. All Angular podcasts. Even though I don't do Angular anymore, I like to know what's going on in that, that um, framework. Just because. Because that's one of the first ones that I started with. I love Ruby, so I have to listen to Ruby podcast. Uh, the Front End Happy Hour is my number one podcast. It's basically like real developers, guys have, that work at Netflix, guys that work at LinkedIn, um, Evernote, and they pretty much have a, a legit show. You know, it's not like Joe Schmo with, with his little podcast. Nah, these are guys that they're really in the industry. And it's good to hear what the hell the guys are doing in San Francisco. You know what I mean? Like, it's different for us even in the East Coast 
or like when you work in a smaller company, but it's good to know what the guys are doing in Facebook and guys are doing on LinkedIn, guys are doing on, you know, Instagram. I like to hear what they are up to, you know what I mean? So I could get a, a feel of the whole industry, see exactly what everyone is working on. All right. Now, let me see. Do I have anything else for you guys? Well, now let's talk about like documentation. There's one that I really like. I come here, Laravel documentation. Yeah. So I really enjoy this one. You know, a lot of times I download it and I uninstall it, download it, uninstall it. But it's good because it's like now you have it on your phone. You don't have it on online where you're like, oh, if I don't have no internet or I'm somewhere where I'm getting no service, I could still see the documentation through here. All right. So that's why I like to download it directly. It's pretty cool for you guys that are trying to get into Laravel. Make sure you download this this app. And let me see what else. What else we got? There's another one that I like. Uh, let me see. I like the Ruby documentation. Cause it's pretty good. See, this one's not bad. Droid edit. I played around with it before, but it's not one of my favorite ones. I like this one. The Ruby Handbook. It has a little tutorials. It's like documentation. And yeah. Those are my top five. Alright. So anyways guys. Make sure you download those apps. And I'll see you guys later man. Stay up man. Alright kids. Bow. Hey guys if you really enjoyed this video. Listen take one second of your time. Subscribe to the channel. Trust me, we drop videos and content almost every single day. Sometimes even two or three videos a day, right? Click on the notification, which is the little bell right here. Click on that. Click on send me all the notifications from this channel so you don't miss any of the live videos that we do here. It's a huge community that we have here. Make sure you subscribe. Trust me, guys. I guarantee you guys are going to love this channel. All right? Then from there, whenever you have time, look at the description. In every video, I have basically links to my website where I have courses that you can either buy, subscribe, try them out. Sometimes you can even try them out for free, right? You have courses that are free, $5, okay? <laughs> That's what I have to say, $5. Come on, guys. If you don't have $5, I don't know what to tell you. Um, basically, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to help you out in your career as a developer. I'm here to help you to push you to the next level. And of course, we have the courses that made me into a developer. The courses that I took from the beginning, you know. And then we added a new one, which is the MySQL Bootcamp from Cold Steel because it's that good. So in every video, you're going to see this message reminding you of all the courses that are there. And also the fact that you gotta subscribe to your boy. Okay, I'll see you guys later, bow.